In this video, we'll be going over the negative form 8978 adjustment worksheet for Schedule 2, Line 17Z. Line 17Z on Schedule 2 is kind of the catch-all line uh, where other taxes that may be calculated are simply listed as other taxes. So basically, you only need to complete this worksheet if you completed line three on the negative form 8978 adjustment worksheet located in schedule three, line 6L in the instructions. If you had anything of value to complete in line three, then you're going to enter that amount in line two right here as it, uh, as it a positive number. So uh, if you did not have anything to enter into line three, then you would not be on the schedule two form. So uh, we've got the amount from uh, schedule three line six L that's left over from line three. We put that into line two. In line one, we're going to enter the sum of chapter one taxes other than your form 8978 adjustment as reported in part two of schedule two. So uh, bear with me for a few moments because uh, the there's not a whole lot of strict guidance on what chapter one taxes look like. So we kind of have to walk through schedule to make a determination of what the IRS instruction says is not included as chapter one taxes. And then we kind of infer that the rest of them must be chapter one taxes. So uh, what is excluded? Uh, that would be line four, which is self-employment income, line seven, which includes uh, basically lines five and six, which are uh, unreported uh, social security and Medicare taxes for things like tip and wage in income. Household employment, that would be line nine, additional Medicare tax on line 11, uh, net investment income tax on line 12, uncollected social security or RRTA taxes uh, that were reported in your form W-2, that's line 13, and then a variety of items on line 17K through M. So golden parachute payments, tax on the accumulation, distribution of trusts, and excise tax on insider stock compensation from expatriated corporations, or other taxes that may be listed in line 17Z that are not chapter one taxes. So by default, that includes everything else that's uh, reported in the rest of schedule two. And that would include uh, line eight, which is the additional taxes on IRAs, IRS form 5329, uh, line 10, which would be the first time home buyer credit uh, form 5405, line 14, which is the in interest on tax on installment income, line 15, interest on deferred tax or gain from installment sales, line 16, a recapture of the first time home buyer credit calculated on IRS form 8611, and then pretty much all the rest of the line 17 items that were not specifically listed here. So line 17A, this would be recaptures of a variety of tax credits, uh, namely the following. The investment credit reported on IRS Form 4255. The Indian employment credit reported on IRS Form 8845. The new markets credit reported on IRS Form 8874. The employer provided child care facilities credit that would be on IRS form 8882. The alternative motor vehicle credit on IRS form 8910. The alternative fuel vehicle refueling property credit on IRS form 8911. And the qualified plug-in electric drive motor vehicle credit on IRS form 8936. So all of those are recaptured and reported on line 17A. Line 17B, we're discussing the federal mortgage subsidy credit 
uh, calculated on IRS Form 8828, uh, Line 17 C and D, additional taxes on HSAs on 8889, uh, 17E and 17F are additional taxes on MSAs on IRS Form 8853. Uh, 17G would be the recapture of charitable deductions relating to fractional interests in tangible personal property. Line 17H, the income from non-qualified deferred compensation plans that fail to meet Section 409A requirements. This would re be reported on your Form W-2, Box 12, marked with the code Z, or on IRS Form 1099-MISC, Box 15. Line 17I, additional tax on compensation from non-qualified deferred comp 457 plans. If the compensation would have been includable, but for the fact that it wasn't determined until the current tax year. Line 17J, section 72M5 excess benefits. Line 17N, Look back interest from IRS form 8697 or 8866. Line 17O, non effectively co connected income for non resident aliens. Line 17P and Q, IRS form 8621 interest either from line 16 or line 24. So all of those items uh, basically are. Uh, considered to be chapter one taxes. So uh, we'll list all of the articles that we can in the show notes for the uh, all of the forms that we've generated articles and produced videos for in case there's any one specific form that you wanted to drill down into. So once you have all of those items from the rest of your schedule two minus these here, you're simply going to compare either what you carried forward from Schedule 3 or the rest of those taxes in Schedule 2. So if the Line 1 amount, which is all of those Chapter 1 taxes, if that exceeds the amount on Chapter 2, which is the negative amount from, from Schedule 3, then you will enter, that, uh, enter the Line 2 amount as a negative number on line 17Z, and that's in parentheses, you should list form 8978 adjustment and that line two amount. If the amount on line one is not more than the amount on line two, then you would simply line, you would enter the line, uh, line one amount. So, if, so under this circumstance, you would enter the $4,000 as a negative tax on line 17Z with a form 8978 adjustment. However, if you had it this way, you can only take this as a credit up to the amount of these Chapter 1 taxes. So in other words, you would enter the $4,000 uh, in line 17Z as a negative number that would allow you to zero out all of the chapter one taxes. So uh, either way, you're not going to, you should either use up the remainder of the credit that you carried from schedule three, or you will at least zero out the chapter one taxes that you're reporting in schedule two as additional taxes. So we will put links to all of this plus the uh, negative form 8978 adjustment worksheet schedule three video. We'll put all of those in the show notes. So uh, it will also put a link to the entire article that we've had that we've created for form 8978 in the show notes as well. So if you like our articles, please subscribe to our newsletter. If you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or if there's something that you would like us to include in a future video, uh, please don't hesitate to hit us up in the uh, show notes or in the comments section. Thank you very much and have a great day.